Hi guys, welcome after another week. I am back with the results of my challenge. So to remind you, the challenge was to go from left to right, playing each inversion of a chord. So for example, for a C major chord, it would be something like this. Unfortunately, I failed this challenge. It was much harder than I expected. I can play it more or less, but not as fast as I would like to, and I have to put a lot of thinking, especially with the left hand, to hit the correct, correct keys. But still, during this challenge, I made a lot of interesting observations, which I would like to share with you. So, at first, when I started to approaching this challenge, I was doing something like this. Okay, this is C major. Now what? I should keep this and this key and add this. Okay, next one. Keep these two ones and add this one. Something like that. Of course, I could do it a little faster, but still it was very slow. And after some time practicing like this, I couldn't see much progress. So. I started thinking how I could approach this exercise in a different way. So the first thing I did was I checked on the internet which fingers should I use for each inversion. And the answer is for, the, for this basic form I should use the first, third and fifth finger. For the first inversion first two fingers and the fifth one. And for the second inversion my first finger, third finger and fifth finger. So that was already a huge improvement. And when I've learned this, I re realized that this exercise or this challenge is about learning three shapes of my hand. So this shape, this shape and this shape. So instead of going from left to right, I focused on these shapes. I was doing uh, two exercises. The first one, something like this. So, from fist to the shape. This way, I've tried to put these shapes into my muscle memory. The second exercise I was doing was to transition these shapes into each key, something like this. And after that, I started learning the transitions between these shapes, something like this. It seems very easy, but in reality it's not. Uh, notice that I have to uh, transition between these two fingers. Now this one plays, now this one. I've, I'm changing these two fingers. And that's quite confusing for our brain to, to manage these movements. So, Learning doing that takes a lot of time. And when you try to go backwards, you have to learn it again, because that's also very confusing for the brain to do the opposite movement. Yeah. So after that, after learning, learning the shapes, the transitions, I've tried again to go from left to right using my right hand. Tada! I've realized that Wow, I can do it. Without practicing going from left to right, I can already do it. The main thing to do was divide this challenge into smaller steps and learn the smaller steps. And after that, it happens automatically. And uh, what else? I can do it in any key, even if I haven't practiced before that key. Let's say the G. All I have to do is remember about the hand 
shapes. And that's it. So I was really um, surprised by, by the results of these small exercises that after practicing the small parts of this challenge, I can do the entire challenge. So I failed this challenge because I haven't enough time to do the same with my left hand. So only my right hand remembers the shapes. My left hand does not. I have to put a lot of thinking into creating these shapes. With right hand, there is no thinking. It happens automatically. So for the next week, I will have more interesting challenge for you. I will try to learn a song. The song is called Drown by Bring Me The Horizon. So it will be much more fun to watch the video instead of me showing you some technical exercises because I know that it's not very interesting thing to watch. But I, at least I hope that the observations I've made and showed you will be useful for you if you are also trying to learn playing the keyboard. So I will try to learn that song and uh, that's it. See you next time.